So this is the Ben Halligan's um, perfume. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Uh, so they were in perfume making since 1870. So yeah, it's a good brand. Well, it's a luxurious brand, but managed to cap this one for a perch. Not too expensive price, but for the brand, yeah. It's fine. So I think each bottle cost like 200 pounds or I don't know, to be honest, I didn't even check because I can't afford <laughs> the, like the whole bottle. So these are like Ben Halligan's um, scent library, uh, what do you call this? Scent library for men and women. So it's unisex. Yeah, so the box um, looks like this. So each each perfume is like two mils, just two ml each. So yeah, so we'll unbox it together. So yes, so inside the box, obviously, are this beautiful work of art. I can say so. I love my perfumes, but I can't afford this expensive ones. I'm just using the cheap ones. But yeah, it's a good it's a good um, way to explore or check check out. So for you not to buy the whole bottle. So these are the perfume, the scent library of Ben Halligan's. So that's there's Impressa. Actually, I watched a, a YouTube video about this um, last night. I forgot the name of the channel. It's a good um, perfumer. I don't know what you call them. So there's Impressa. There's Indium, Indimayan Concentrate. I don't know if I'm saying it right. How Fetty, the, the favorite. The Coveted Duchess Rose. The Tragedy of Lord George and the uh, Blenheim bouquet, I don't know. Juniper Sling, there's Luna, um, Quercus, and yeah, there's so apparently there's like 10 perfumes inside this small box. So each bottle, each small bottle contains um, contains two mils, I don't know, 1.5 mils or two mils of perfume. So first one is the Quercus. So we'll see. So Quercus, uh, this is, so as I said earlier, these are like unisex perfumes. So it, it's a cologne um, named after iconic English oak also, yeah. So, so yes, um, this brand is a, a British brand. So there's basil, lemon, um, sweet jasmine uh, on this bottle to the scent. So 
The next one is Luna. So Luna is like it's a Spanish word for for the moon. So Luna is more of the soothing and like seductive um, side of perfume. So it's it contains so the notes are orange, jasmine, soft rose. So that's it. Yeah, I'm not even I'm not a good I'm not good with this one. I just buy good perfumes, but I'm not really good. I'm not into details, if you know what I mean. So that's Luna. So it's it's a very small bottle, but it's a good way to to have like to smell, to experience each scent rather than buying the whole bottle, if you know what I mean. So for you, it's like for you to to pick or to choose the right scent for yourself. It's nice to buy this scent library first well to me i don't know to you watching this video but yeah it's a good way to experience it first because it's different when you experience it on your skin because i know each perfume um each perfume is different on perf on each individual skin if you know what i mean i don't know how to explain it further but i'm not ex i'm not an expert on this one so next one is juniper so it's a juniper sling so it's um it's like on a fresh note fresh side and uh, there, so there's like angelica and black pepper i don't know what angelica is um there's like warm spice and so basically it's like cocktail complex co complex cocktail of different scents different notes and yes that's the juniper sling juniper sling <laughs> This Gina Jennifer. <laughs> the fourth one is the Blindham bouquet. I don't know guys if I'm saying it right. You can correct me on the comment section. So last uh, next one is the fourth one is the Blindham Ben Halligan's Blindham bouquet. So it's like so same with with Juniper, Juniper it's like Juniper sling is like on the fresh note, fresh notes. So there's like lemon, black pepper, and pine. But then the fifth one is the tragedy of Lord George. Well, the some the some name of, for a perfume, the tragedy of Lord George. Apparently, I heard good reviews about this one. Like, especially it's uh, like um, it's more on the masculine side. So it's like so the all oh right yes yeah, so there's like shaving soap so the set the notes were like shaving soap and warming rum so there's like a rum like a boost so yeah nothing much I know about this one but sure I, I saw good reviews about this one so the six scent is the the coveted Duchess Rose with the Duchess Rose so well from the name of it like you can imagine there's like notes of, of rose on this one so this one it's like a, a scent a sensual a hint, hint of musky wood on this one so, and sweet notes as well so that's it so yeah I can imagine this more of the, the feminine side but this 10 scents are like unisex scents. The Duchess Rose. The favorite. So yeah, I heard good reviews about this one as well. The favorite. <laughs> so I think I think by the name itself, like maybe the the team behind Ben Halligan's perfumes, like or even the owner maybe I don't know <laughs> like this one so the favorite there's also good rave or like review about this one so apparently this one is there's there's notes of like golden mimosa uh, musk and sandalwood stage as well so yeah that's it I don't even know what I'm saying but the favorite that's the name the favorite so that's the bottle, that's the whole bottle looks like. So there's like about about two mils of perfume in each small bottle. 
So yeah, apparently it's like it's a spray. So yeah, I heard good stuff, good reviews about this one as well. The how fatty. So it's like um on on the description that comes with this box it says it's a mysterious fragrance. So there's like grapefruit, levantine spice, and rose. So yeah, that's it for how fat how fatty. So apparently there's also good review about this one. So there's like the tragedy of of Lord George, Hal Fetty, and the favorite. There's th them three bottles of good reviews. The ninth bottle is this one, the Endymion. Endymion. I don't know if I'm saying it right, and I've been saying that since I opened this box. Endymion concentrate. So it's like there's like bergamot, coffee, and geranium on this one. So yeah. I'm excited to try this one to be honest. There's coffee on it. Coffee scent, so yeah. Not the common notes that you can see on perfume, but sure. That's why they, that's why it's expensive. So we'll have a check. The last one, the tenth bottle or the tenth scent is Impressa. So that's Impressa. So apparently Oh it's more of the feminine side well by the name of it, Impressa. An impress, impress maybe. So there's like peach, vanilla, and blood, blood orange. So it's like warm, lustrous, and unf unforgettable scent. So yeah, that's it. Impress. So after checking everything out, like the one that stands out for me is this one, um, the Endymion. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I didn't I did I didn't did I didn't do my research before <laughs> doing this but sure just bear with me. I'm not a pro. So does Endymion concentrate this one stands out for me. It's like um it's a good scent. Well it's a good everyday scent. It's like fresh perfume, like summer, perfect for summer. Like so just the, there's the description of this one. Yeah. So there's like bergamot, coffee, and geranium. I don't know what geranium is. And it's very nice, but like it's so fr it's so it's refreshing. Just to describe it in one word. So that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. Check my other videos and yeah. Thank you so much.